everyone. Thank you for watching the moisture content dried fruit mo measuring the moisture content of dried fruit seminar. For any questions, um, send us an email at overseas.tago.net. For today's webinar, I'll be talking about dried fruits, what the water contents are, how it is measured, and also show you a video of several dried fruits and how it is being measured. So let me start. So about dried fruits. Most dried fruits, the water content is about 15 to 20%. However, it depends on the fruits. So for examples that I wrote here, apricots are about 20 to 25%, and um, prunes is about 18 to 20, and dates is 14 to 20%. I'll be showing you some dried fruits later in the video and actually check if how the water content of the dried fruits are. Okay, so um, for, in a toggle, we have two kinds of dried fruit moisture instruments. So for dried fruit instruments, like how the moisture content is being measured, so moisture meter provides quick estimation of the water content. So the calculation of it would be 100% minus bricks equals the water content. So for people who don't know what bricks are, Bricks are normally used in, um, farmer normally use it to measure the sugar content of their fruit. But what water, um, but what we want to do with the moisture content is do the opposite way and just measure the moisture, the water content that is in the fruits. So let me introduce one of our instruments which is pile dried fruit moisture this is a digital pocket dried fruit moisture meter so the range is from 7 to 100 and uh, it also has a temperature compensation from 10 to 100 degrees not only the pile but we also have pen dried fruit moisture which is the digital type fruit moisture meter it is different from pile because the range starts from 50 percent and over so as you can see here, compared to pen, PAL has a wider range. However, other than the range, the accuracy and the temperature compensation is the same. To know more about the difference of PAL and pen, let me show you a video of the measurement of different kinds of fruits and how, is, how it is being measured. So let me start with zero setting with the PAL dried, moist, dried fruit moisture. So as you can see here, this is our PAL dried fruit moisture. Before doing the measurement, you would like to put the water in zero set. When zero setting, we would like you to press start and check if there's any, if it's not 100, we would like you to press zero and that's all you have to do to zero set. And once zero is shown, just press start again to make sure that it is showing 100%. And once 100% is shown, we would like you to wipe the water on the sample stage. Make sure that there are no waters left because it will affect the measurement later and not only for the zero setting, but when measuring dried fruits too, make sure that there are no dried fruits left on the sample stage because it will build in and will affect the measurement later. So now let's see the zero setting for pen dried fruit moisture. As you can see, here's our pen dried fruit moisture. It is different from PAL. You need a bit more water for zero setting. It's the same that you have to press start. And for the pen dried fruit moisture, it has a continuous measurement. So it keeps on continuing to measure. I'm sure later in the video when measuring the dried fruits, we can see that it's um, measuring continuously. 
With pen, we would like you to press zero for about a second, and once it blinks and shows 100, then the zero setting is done. And when you want to stop the continuous measurement, you can just press start one time, and it will stop measuring. As you can see over here when cleaning, the sample stage is different with the pile. With cleaning, there might be a possibility that pen is more easy to clean because all you have to do is just wipe. But make sure that there are no dried foods or water left. So let's measure, let's see the measurement of different kind of dried fruits. Let's start with pineapple. So with pineapple and other kind of dried fruits, we would like you to cut the dried fruit and make sure to measure the inside of the dried fruit. And when, measure, and when using PAL, or when you're purchasing PAL, there is an additional ac accessory called magic. What you have to do is press the dried fruit when it's on the sample stage. You would want to press it stronger to have a stable measurement because if, it, if the dry fruit is not on the sample stage properly, it won't measure well. So you can see here that the pineapple is 20.3. We would like to take several measurements to make sure that the measurement value is stable. You can see here the dried pineapple water content is stable. Now let's see with pineapple. Um, with pineapple measurement with pen dried fruit moisture. It's the same with PAL. You have to press the sample, which is the pineapple dried fruit, to make sure that you get a stable measurement. You press start, but what you have to do is keep on pressing the dried fruit to make sure that it is stable. And as you can see here, and I said before, there's a continuous measurement. And if you see the value, it kind of goes a bit, it's stable, but it goes up a little, down a little. So once it is stable, you can just press start again, and then it will stop measuring. If you can see in the left, there's a light blinking, that means that it is measuring. So now let's see with apricot. As I said before, with dried fruits, you have to cut into small pieces and make sure that you're measuring, you're pushing the sample stage well. And I think before with the apricot, I did say that the water, the moisture content is about 20 to 25 percent. So I'm sure we can see here that there is no problem with the measurement and it's correct. So now let's see with mango. Mango is around 17.8. Sometimes the measurement value with PAL and pen differs. However, this is because, um, especially with pen, because it depends on how strong you press it or it depends on what part of the fruit you're measuring, the dried fruit you're measuring, sometimes the measurement will change, but it is normally within, um, if you compare the pal and pen, it is within, um, the difference is within 1%. So as you can see here, we're, and now we're measuring um, dates using pen. And here with blueberry, even um, the dried fruit color is dark. It doesn't really affect any of it because it's the water content. As you can see here, by taking several measurements, we know that all the measurements are stable.
So this is the end of the measurement video. And this is actually a short seminar and this is the end of the seminar. So if there are any questions, please send us an email at overseas at otago.net. Thank you for watching and have a good day.